All right, everybody, welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews. And today we've got another statue from XM Studios. This is continuing their amazing Spider-Man line. Uh, this is, of course, the Scorpion, who made his debut way back in 1965 in Amazing Spider-Man number 20. So he's been around a long, long time. And he actually debuted as McDonald, Mac Gargan, Private Investigator. And he was originally hired by J. Jonah Jameson, actually, and he was supposed to find out how Peter Parker was getting these great pictures of Spider-Man. This was J. Jonah's master plan, but eventually they came up with an even better plan. Uh, they were going to go to a, you know, kind of a dodgy mad scientist and have Mac Gargan undergo a uh, highly experimental, high probability of failure procedure to turn him into a synthetic scorpion and just fight Spider-Man. Seemed like a really good idea at the time. Um, and McDonald Gargan, he was going to get paid $10,000 for this. This was, you know, everything was great. Of course, the experiment went horribly wrong, turned him into a deranged psychopath that went on a rampage around the city and eventually was defeated by Spider-Man. And, you know, the rest is history. Um, he's become one of his more well-known villains. I wouldn't put him like up near the top of the list as his greatest villains or anything like that, but he's well known uh, and a very cool looking villain. You know, it's a scorpion. They're awesome. They got this huge tail and everything. So there you got your, your brief rundown of how Scorpion came to be. So we're going to get into the review here now. We're going to count down my three favorite things about this statue. So let's get into it now and count it down. We're going to kick off this countdown with number three on my list of favorite things about the Scorpion. And at number three, we got the paint. I think that the paint on the Scorpion just, just looks absolutely fantastic. Like, let's look at the, the deep, rich, dark greens on the ribbed portion of the costume. Uh, you got a little bit of a black wash on there too to help bring out that ribbed texture. Uh, but just a nice, deep, rich green. And then you got that contrasted by this really metallic, uh, glossy finish on most of the armor on the tail. And there's little hints of yellow in there, a little bit of black, kind of these darker areas too. Uh, when the light hits it, you really get this sort of glistening metallic look. And you look at the tail, you see how the tip of the, the stinger here kind of fades into like a, almost a gold color at the tip. It just looks fantastic. And then on the classic hands, uh, you do get two pairs of, of hands switch outs, which I'll show you a bit later. Uh, but on these classic gauntlets, uh, there's a kind of a leathery texture on the front. And it's almost like a bit of a silvery hue to it. Uh, so you just get that extra little bit of um, different uh, tones of color in there. It just looks really fantastic, I gotta say. And then you look at the portrait here. This is the classic portrait. Nice clean lines of the black around the eyes. Uh, and then you got the eyes themselves. You got this sort of bloodshot look to them. He looks kind of deranged. He looks kind of creepy and crazy. And then you got the teeth. I, I always look at the teeth on a statue and I think if the teeth are painted really well, really, really realistically, it can just elevate the statue to a whole new level. And it brings up this, out this real realism. And uh, so I always look at the teeth first and these are really well done. So you look at this, you know, gr uh, gritting his teeth. You've got these bloodshot eyes and you just look at that face and you know this guy's a villain and he's not to be messed with. So great, great job on the paint on this statue from XM Studios. All right, we're moving on to number two on the countdown here. My favorite things of the Scorpion and it's the design. The concept design in this statue was by Studio Hive, a great art studio out of Thailand. A great group of guys. I've had the chance to meet them a couple times. And they did a really great job with this design here. I mean, it's sort of an unconventional pose. You got the three points of contact here. He's kind of hunched down. He looks very animalistic to me. He looks like he's on the hunt, like he's on the attack. And he's uh, ready to, to launch into the fight here. Um, I love how they have the tail curling up and over. And you got the stinger down here by his, right by his face. I kind of picture this almost as like a movie scene. 
where you know I, I envisioning him landing on top of these rocks and it's kind of slow mo and then he bares his teeth tail comes up and then it goes into like full speed and it's like whoop -ha! you know the tail just strikes just like that like whoop -ha! just like that uh and so you can vision i know you can picture it just how i how i did it there um but i i just love it i mean like i said it's sort of an unconventional pose and it just looks really good it's going to stand out uh so the design i really love it uh the costume design uh, a little mix of modern and classic and this is only one version you get a whole switch out uh, modern version which i'm going to show you in the next segment um uh, and, you know the base is okay i mean it's mostly a pile of rocks i like the fence on the back it really adds a, some nice detail to the whole thing and the lantern's pretty cool too and the lantern is actually a light up there is a switch on the bottom here and there's a little battery compartment you can change the batteries and you can turn up on the lantern feature like that so very very cool design from studio hive and xm on this piece uh, I, I think it looks really really cool All right, guys, so before we move into number one on the countdown here, I've hinted at it a couple times throughout the review, and here is the alternate display options for the Scorpion. This is more of a modern version, a uh, much more highly uh, mechanical, high-tech high -tech look for the Scorpion. You get the helmet with the lenses over the eyes. You've got a different-looking tail here, uh, much more of a you know metal plating armor on it than than the the classic tail um you got the extra thigh pad armor here you get the chest plate armor which is pretty cool it's got like sort of these looks almost uh these bug eyes kind of and then they got the pincers down here at the bottom of it it looks like a like the face of a scorpion uh and then on the you got these more highly armored gauntlets as well which is with this really kind of neat uh stinger at the top here very very cool display i prefer the classic option uh, that's the way i'm going to put display mine uh, but i mean if this was all we got this is what they decided to go with i still would have bought it because it still looks awesome uh, but you have the option you can go either way classic or modern you pick uh, you get to decide and uh, options are always a good thing right so let's move on number one um, my favorite thing about this has got to be the sculpt from Caleb Nefson. I think he absolutely killed it. He's got details everywhere on this piece. Uh, I mean, look at the textures I talked about, the rib texture on the darker areas of the costume. And you got stitching going down uh, the, the transition from the dark to the light areas. Look at all the highly detailed armor. And you got the stitching on the inside of the gauntlets here. You look on the palm of his hand, he's got the armor continuing across the palm of his hand i mean and that's not even you're not even going to see that but he's still it's detailed it's painted it looks great um just a fantastic sculpt i mean let's look at the classic tail uh you got the armor plating up here and then in between you got like it looks like a carbon fiber mesh or something like that i mean this tail looks like it could really be flexible and move around fast and quick and strike in the blink of an eye it's such a cool looking tail i love this tail um, so many details to talk about on this piece i don't think i can get to them all but um, i mean for me really the standout on this statue has got to be the classic portrait um, I, I couldn't picture it being looking any better than this you got the teeth Bearing his teeth and sort of gritting his teeth, um, the eyes, just the overall shape of the head, you know, the, the black lines, the black pattern around the eye opening in the eyes and the mask. And what's really, really cool, the mask continues around onto his lips, which for whatever reason, it, it does that in the comics. And that's a really nice nod to those classic comics with the mask continuing on the lips. Very subtle detail, but it just really makes this head that much better in my opinion so this portrait is so awesome I, I couldn't i couldn't have changed anything about it to make it better it's it's perfect the way it is so caleb you did an amazing job on this statue absolutely love the sculpt the details um i i i can't say enough about it it looks absolutely great you got to see it in person All right, we're going to wrap up this review of the Scorpion from XM Studios. 
Uh, we counted down my three favorite things on this statue. And at number three, we had the paint. I love the glossy metallics with those little yellow hues in there. The light hits it. This brings out this extra bit of color. Uh, the deep, dark, rich greens on the ribbed areas of the costume. The teeth look very good on both portraits. Very well done on the paint. Number two, I had the design from Studio Hive. I like the three-point pose. He looks like an animal on the hunt, searching for his prey. Um, very kind of action-oriented, dynamic look to it. I love how the tail comes up and around. Looks ready to strike. So very, very cool design from Studio Hive. And then at number one, of course, I had the sculpt from Caleb Nefson. I mean, tons of detail here uh, to look at. I mean, the, the armor plating, the texturing you know, used throughout, the stitching, the portraits. My favorite thing, this classic portrait, as I mentioned, I think it's perfect. I couldn't change a thing about it to improve it. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, so it's, it's really... Uh, it's really a stunning statue from XM. I think they just really nailed this one, um, the Scorpion. Now, not to say that it's perfect. There are some issues that some people have been reporting. You know, some gaps between the feet, maybe, and the rocks under the hand. I've seen some, some of these thigh pieces that didn't fit quite right. You'll notice the tail, um, they'll be in a little bit different position depending on the piece. The classic tail on mine sits very close to the side of his face. Other ones are a little bit further out. You know, you're going to see some variation piece to piece, but overall, it's an absolutely amazing piece from XM Studios. Um, I did do an unboxing for this statue so you can see how it's packaged, how it goes together. You do get the print in the box, uh, but you don't get the assembly guide. That is a digital download now for this piece. You can get it from the XM Studios website. It's still available for you if you need it, uh, but it doesn't come in the box, so just be aware of that. So. XM Studios Scorpion, designed by Studio Hive, sculpted by Caleb Nefson. Absolutely amazing piece. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Stay tuned to the channel. We're going to have a lot more coming this year. Uh, a lot more from XM. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of sideshow coming up. Some tweeter head. As I, I keep teasing the tweeter head joker. It is coming soon. Um, so anyways, I, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll talk to you guys soon.